hash p dash complete pronounced sharp p complete or number p complete is a complexity class in computational complexity theory. By definition, a problem is hash p dash complete if and only if it is in hash p, and every problem in hash p can be reduced to it by a polynomial time counting reduction, i.e., a polynomial time Turing reduction relating the cardinalities of solution sets. Equivalently, a problem is hash p dash complete if and only if it is in hash p, and for any non-deterministic Turing machine. The problem of computing its number of accepting paths can be reduced to this problem. Examples of hash p dash complete problems include how many different variable assignments will satisfy a given general Boolean formula, how many different variable assignments will satisfy a given DNF formula, how many different variable assignments will satisfy a given 2SAT formula, how many perfect matchings are there for a given bipartite graph. What is the value of the permanent of a given matrix whose entries are 0 or 1? How many graph colorings using K colors are there for a particular graph G? How many different linear extensions are there for a given partial order? Or, equivalently, how many different topological orderings are there for a given directed acyclic graph? A polynomial time algorithm for solving a hash p dash complete problem, if it existed, would imply p equals np, and thus p equals ph. No such algorithm is currently known. IZ problems with hard counting versions. It is surprising that some hash p dash complete problems correspond to easy p problems. It is very easy to determine the satisfiability of a Boolean formula in DNF. Such a formula is satisfiable if and only if it contains a satisfiable conjunction, whereas counting the number of satisfying assignments is hash p dash complete. Also deciding 2SAT is easy in contrast to counting the number of satisfying assignments. Topologically sorting is easy in contrast to counting the number of topological sortings. The same observation can be made for the perfect matching problem. It was known before that the decision problem, is there a perfect matching for a given bipartite graph, can be solved in polynomial time. And in fact, for a graph with v vertices and the edges, it can be solved in O time. The corresponding question, how many perfect matchings does the given bipartite graph have, is already hash p dash complete. The problem of counting the number of perfect matchings is known to be equivalent to the problem of the computation of the permanent of a matrix. The perfect matching counting problem was the first counting problem corresponding to an easy p problem shown to be hash p dash complete. In a 1979 paper by Leslie Valiant which also defined the classes hash p and hash p dash complete for the first time, approximation. There are probabilistic algorithms that return good approximations to some hash p dash complete problems with high probability. This is one of the demonstrations of the power of probabilistic algorithms. Many hash p dash complete problems have a fully polynomial time randomized approximation scheme, or FPRAS, which, informally, will produce with high probability an approximation to an arbitrary degree of accuracy, in time that is polynomial with respect to both the size of the problem and the degree of accuracy required. Jerem, Valiant, and Vazirani showed that every hash p dash complete problem either has an FPRAS, or is essentially impossible to approximate, if there is any polynomial time algorithm which consistently produces an approximation of a hash p dash complete problem which is within a polynomial ratio in the size of the input of the exact answer, then that algorithm can be used to construct an FPRAS. 